Hi everyone, uh, sunny greetings to you all from Hamburg. Um, I've just popped in to let you know uh, what we're up to the last uh, few weeks, few months. And I've brought you to a place where we're going to be shooting some uh, video soon. It's uh, not what you would term very picturesque, but um, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm working around the clock with uh, Thomas Yubman, my co-producer, and we're putting uh, a summer album together for you all. What is basically an interim album because uh, my album from a dizzy height has been basically put on the back burner until October for several reasons. Um, it's what you might term as the mellow side of D. And the forthcoming album, which we're hoping to get out for the 27th of June, that's the official um, summer release date. I'll let you know what the album's called um, as soon as we get the major tracks down in the can, because we're really working on some interesting stuff at the moment, which is different. That's why we're calling the album 3D. <laughs> All right, the cat is now extremely out of the bag. He's like, He's off, he's gone. And uh, I'll be shooting some video here soon with Leon, my son, and uh, we're banging out some tracks for you over the next few weeks with one or two surprises. Hang on to your hollyhocks. That's what we used to say in England. Hang on to your hollyhocks because it's different. It's a dance album, it's an up-tempo, there's no ballads on it, and I just wanted to get this out of my system before I get the other album out of my system from a dizzy height. Um, <laughs> I've been working on something which is uh, very special. All my stuff's special. Of course it is. All my stuff's special. And uh, we got something that is really, 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 really different and very special. And it's uh, a duet with a very, very close friend of mine who I haven't seen actually for 35 years. <laughs> and we've put things together on the internet, as in, in and here, back and forward, sending tracks. And uh, I won't tell you his name because it's a big secret. Somebody, some of you out there do know who it is. Um, and I'll tell you that this right now, he's a great, great singer. He's a lovely, lovely fella. And he can sing my arse off. Should I have said that? Should I have said that? Cut! And anyway, <laughs> it's a big secret who he is. I'm not telling you who it is. No, it's a big shake. One or two people, one or two of my close friends know who it is. As in, two of my close friends. And he knows as well. It's really, really good. And we've uh, put a track together, which I wrote two years ago, actually. And it's a song that's been in my head for years. And uh, we eventually, I wrote it together with Thomas, Thomas Jobman, or Jobman in English. Thomas Jobman, good job, man. He gets a t-shirt, good job, man. And it's great, it's a lovely track. And the two people that have heard it, they wet their pants. Mm, they did, you know, so, so you can. I, I might bring you back here. I might do my blogs from this place, because I'm walking around in a circle, just like a record. Walking around in a circle. No one's bothering me, and I'm bothering no one. Isn't that lovely? Me not bothering anybody. So, as I said, um, the brand new album, which is due to come out on the 27th as a download, as a dump, as a dump, the actual CD, yeah, we're doing a CD with a booklet as well, how about that, in lots of photos. Um, just me and Tom, I've got a, a couple of guest musicians on there. And um, as always, I'm very proud. Are you going to see this stuff behind me? I've got this gimbal. <laughs> I bought this gimbal. I'm holding the gimbal. If you if you want to know what the hell am I doing walking around in circles, I bought this gimbal um, for my iPhone, which I invested a lot of money in. I tell you, I'll tell you why I did. I bought a new iPhone as well because, um, well, things were going like this, and then they went like that, and everything fell apart. Um, sad story, but that's the business. So we've put all that behind us now, and we're looking forward to the 27th, 27th of June. That's a few days after I'm due to fly over to England for something very, very special, a little promotion gig in a garden. 
Don't tell anyone. Whatever you do, do not, do not tell anyone. First of June to Birmingham in England for a garden party. Whatever you do, don't tell anyone. All right? So um, keep it D. Look out for the brand new album, 3D. It's my third album. Uh, how about that then? How did I work that out? Now, it's called 3D because it's going whoa, in another direction, you see. Not always that way, it's going that way as well, you see. Totally different. It's not totally different. It's not heavy metal by any means. No! It's not heavy metal uh, or heavy rock. It's not just either. It's not Blackpool rock either. But it's something groovy, right? As an old DJ, me working the clubs here in Hamburg, um, I was well and truly into dance floor, and I still am. Whatever it is, keep it D, okay? Thanks for listening. I'll be back here. I like this place. It's quiet. It's a bit of a bit of a dump. Well, it actually, it is a dump. It's where people throw their rubbish. They're not allowed to. And we shot some video here last summer, I think. We never used it. But it's quiet. And I don't bother anyone. They don't bother me. And I like, you know me, I, I like walking around in circles. I do. I like walking around in circles. So I bought this gimbal, you see. Yes, I was telling you about this gimbal. I bought this gimbal. Gimbal, for those of you who don't know what a gimbal is, it's one of these things you can do all this kind of nonsense with your, with your iPhone, you see. You can hold it and you can talk to people. Well, you can. You talk to people through the iPhone. But the gimbal is a stabiliser. Because if you've got a shaky hand like me, oh, fill it up, mate, you know. Doesn't make the blog any more interesting. It just happens to uh, stabilise the shake. And um, me being a photographer, I haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. So I'll be bringing you back here in a while. Keep it D, whatever you do, keep it D. And uh, say hello to Blighty and all of my, all, all, all of my fans uh, around the world, all three of them. <laughs> oh dear. So, I was going to walk up a very steep hill to do this, but I thought, bollocks. Oh, no, I ain't doing that. So, um, I'm going back home now, okay. and I promise to have a shave as well. Okay, it's getting white, and this is getting grey. I like it, quite like it. My eyes are still blue. Well, the left one's green. <laughs> oh, there goes a uh, Harley Davidson. Keep it D, keep it D, 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 and we'll see you soon, okay? Me and Tom working around the clock. I'm off to Tom's tomorrow. That's Monday, the the eighth, eighth of May. Yeah, eighth of May. To put down some interesting samples of what we've, what I was working on yesterday morning. Oh, I'll tell you another story. Should I tell you another story? Hang on a minute. Oh, lovely. So I'll tell you another story? I ordered a new fridge this last week because our fridge broke down. Yeah. So there I was. We got this ter termine, they call them termines, you see. We had an appointment. They're bringing it between 8 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock in, in the morning, which is like mid morning. I'm, I'm going all white now. There we go. So, and I got this, um, yeah, new fridge coming yesterday morning. There I was downstairs in my studio. I got my headphones on as, as normal because the kids were still sleeping. I didn't want to wake anybody up. Andrea was off into, into the city buying some more shoes and uh, more handbags. So I thought, well, I'll get on with this uh, pre-production for tomorrow, you see. And um, I forgot all about this new fridge that was coming. So there they were, standing, knocking at the door. I didn't hear a thing because I got the headphones on. You see, I got the headphones on, working on my brand new song. It's called Let Me In, by the way. <laughs> Uh, that's a thing. Oh, God. Oh, let me in. Yeah, it's called Let Me In. But don't tell anyone. And I'll tell you the story behind that song when it's finished. But there was these guys knocking on the door, ringing the bell, and they called me as well. And there's me, working ever so hard on my new song, Let Me In. And these guys, well, of course... I didn't let them in, you see, because I never heard them. And the kids were sleeping. They never heard them either. Oh, I was so angry. I was so angry with myself. I really was so angry. So there was the fridge, the new fridge. It 
wasn't delivered because I didn't open the door and let the guys in, you see. So they're coming again on Wednesday, which is a bit of a shame for Andrea because um, she wanted to go back into the city to probably take back the shoes that she bought yesterday because they, were, they weren't up to what she expected and the handbags as well. So, but she's now going to stop at home on Wednesday because I'll be in the studio with Tom uh, working on uh, Call Me. I've got two songs on the album with me. Let me in and call me. Now, Call Me's another one. I'll tell you what that's all about when it's finished, all right? So I'll be coming back. Don't forget, keep it deep. I'll be coming back here to do future blogs because I like it here. I do. It's because I've, I've got used to it now because I'm walking around in circles... I'll go back this way. I haven't, I haven't walked around this way, have I? Hang on, just refocus. There we are. Going a bit wonky. So I bought this gimbal, you see. <laughs> I bought this gimbal to uh, stabilise my videos so I could keep blogging you. So I've got to go uh, over there now and pick up my, my other stabiliser. Get back in the car before they come and arrest me. And as you can see, by the way, I've got a big birthday coming up in July. So if you want to send me something nice, don't. Buy my new record, all right? Because I'm poor. My wife keeps buying handbags. I've got to pay for the new fridge, right? And what am I going to do if you guys don't buy my record? I can't, I can't pay for the fridge, can I? So if I can't pay for the fridge, I can't feed the kids. And if I can't feed the kids, what are we going to do? <laughs> my, so my wife will buy another handbag, I suppose. My lovely Andrea. So anyway, don't forget, keep it D. Look out for the brand new album, 3D. It's a Boston album. I'll let you into another little secret as well, okay? It's got a few remixes of some of my favourite tracks from my D. Arthur James album, which I released, was it four years ago? I can't remember now, was it three years ago? All right, Leaving in Silence. It's been remixed really down the road R&B. And what else is being remixed? Not telling you. Right, but uh, yeah, we got to get over this. My reggae number, we're going to do that in R&B because it fits the shoe. Anyway, this is D, over and out. How long was that? Don't forget, new fridge coming on Wednesday. The wife will take her shoes and handbags back. And um, probably, if you buy my brand new record, I can feed the kids. Isn't that great? See you soon. Love ya. Bye-bye.